Right, so we are jumping into the fleet battles, the multiplayer version, since we are now above uh, number 5, level 5. And of course we are going to ready up and we are going to be flying the Y-Wing Bomber. I have done some altercations on the Y-Wing, for example it fires the Iron Cannon as the main ordnance. So we will be able to interfere with the enemy fighter screen. We will ha also do more damage to capital ship shields. Uh, looks like we have uh, several two X-wings, one A-wing, and two Y-wings. I think that could be a suitable balance to it all. Uh, I just need more people to click goddamn ready. We can check out our loadout here. We have the primary weapon, the iron cannon. Left auxiliary is the automatic iron cannon. We have the multi-lock missile. We have the particle burst countermeasure. We have the reinforced hull, standard deflector, and a standard engine. Now, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, none of these things are pay-to-win mechanics or anything like it. Rather, they confer one advantage and gives you a disadvantage. For example, my increased hull here is the reason why my max acceleration and maneuverability is down, because uh, I sacrifice acceleration and maneuverability for more hull strength, which is a sensible thing to do in a bomber. So, uh, we will be piloting this Blue Squadron bomber into this battle. And it's most like... Oh, it looks like we had some people changing out. We have two, still two X-Wings, but we also have one U-Wing and two uh, Y-Wings. The U-Wings being the support craft of this fight. So this is going to be very interesting. I have only tried the fleet battles in single player. And uh, I actually felt them to be rather lackluster, so I kind of hope they will be the forces with us. So, the this is going to be interesting. Very interesting. At some point, I've got to continue with the story, but so far, Squadron's multiplayer got me hooked. I tried to take several breaks, like going to play something else and just re relax a bit or just but i can stay away for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes and then i'm back in back into it so this is gonna be interesting course loading takes its sweet time when it's is uh this large number of enemies. Now, our priority targets in terms of dogfight will be to disable the enemy uh, the enemy ships and uh, mostly tr make sure that our fighters have a clear run towards their targets. And then it will basically switch around. Okay, so player left, match abandoned, match not scored. That's too bad, I hope. But we can still... Uh, play this. Looks like we're we're still uh, full on our team, so Vanguard two standing by. This is Vanguard three, ready to fight. Vanguard four standing by. Empire's come for our Starhawk base. Keep their fighters away from our flagship and burn down that Star Destroyer. I'm going to smart. Don't die. Okay. We're going to be very careful here. We're going to try and ambush the enemy from the rear here. We got... Oh wait, that might actually be allied. Target has been disabled. We're using our automatic iron cannon in order to help defend defend us. But wh whoever is actually on my tail is probably decent at his job too. So we need to defend our frigates and this is pr probably going to be a... Uh, come on! 
Stop shooting me, goddammit. So far, I'm not seeing that many... Wait, there we got... We got one there. We gotta kill assist with Orion cannons, that's nice. Okay, the enemy have deployed a Raider class Corvette into the into the battle. That is our cue. Let's go. Let's use Orion cannons to hit that thing. And drive it off our frigates. If they lose that, they're gonna lose a lot of uh, their offensive momentum. And that's what we want to happen. This also way. We're still on a rather balanced power setting here, so... The Raider has been destroyed. That's a good show. Like shooting Y-Wings, do ya? Here's a little message from Blue Squadron. Got him. Whoa! God damn it. We got resupplied. Nice. Have fun flying with your systems disabled, boy. Let's even out our energy reserves and head back into the thick of it. Whoops. Looks like Claytron ended himself and looks like we have defended the frigates to our satisfaction. Black Shadow. Looks like the targeting system actually prioritizes players, and I think that's a good thing. Because right now, I am... We got a kill assist from that. Nice work, you wing. Now it's our turn to attack. We need to assault the cruisers. Lock on the cruiser and fire. Got a lock on the Got a missile coming. Missile has been evaded. Careful now. Under attack. We're tearing up that enemy cruiser, but we got teared up in turn. That's not really surprising. He was. I think that U Wing was actually hiding in the shadow of the cruiser. So we will be on standby. So far, our own frigates are holding firm, and the enemy is. Yeah. The Charlie cruiser is the one that obviously needs to be of needs to be destroyed. Uh, if we can just finish the Charlie Cruiser. Focus on the Charlie Cruiser. I say again, focus on the Charlie Cruiser to the left. Finish it off.
Yes! The cruiser is done for and we still have our Corvette amongst the living. I don't know if that was an enemy player or not, but let's mark the second cruiser. Yeah, I think that's an enemy tie bomber actually. Here you go. Well, obviously bombers can't really stand up to the sheer firepower and versatility of the your average fighter. But so far we are doing well. The other frigate is currently under attack from one of our capital ships. And our own forces are doing a decent job. That very dangerous battle. So far, I think this loadout also works out for what we're trying to achieve here. But I'm still kind of... I'm still trying to get used to the idea of not turning my head to look around. I mean, I really want my, uh, my track AR to work with this game. Yeah, let's change that indeed. We're disabled. Oh, come on, that's unfair. The enemy might have destroyed our Corvettes, but seriously, our... Okay, so the enemy raider class... The bombers uh, will now focus on the enemy raider class Corvette and focus on that one. Someone warned the Empire I'm coming for him. Both our frigates are actually in a pretty shit pretty shit state and we can't uh, can't afford to lose them. However, if we can just make sure that Raider is not doing anything sinister. Finish off that Raider. God damn it, we lost one of our frigates. God damn it, we lost the second frigate as well. We gotta kill assist from the tire bomber at least. The raider has been destroyed. We're out of ammo and our last missile is heading for the hills. I think we can turn this around. That said, we can't really turn to engage the enemy cruisers. Thank you. Enemy bomber. But he's, he's still too far away for us to it properly attack. 
We still need to hold out and defend our flagship a little bit more. Yeah, I can see that Ty... Let's blow him up. Got him. Let's keep it that way. Enemy's locked on to me. Another one for me. Target destroyed. We got the chance. Th now's the time to destroy the cruisers. Enemies locking on. They know how critical it is that we make it. But we got the cruiser. I say again, we got the cruiser. Oh, it's just the capital ships left now, and we are on the offensive against the enemy Star Destroyer. Another day, another battle. Oh, we got four Starfighters with our cluster missiles. None of them were players, but that's still pretty decent. Yeah, we still rely heavily on other players flying interference for us. The Y-Wing can't really handle the uh, the ties at this stage. Okay, okay, I'm coming. It looks like we are gonna be forced into the def into a defensive posture here. We managed to hit their shields, but that's about it. Yeah, they're still blasting me fairly good from behind. So it's just our turn to stand by now. And we still need to hold out and defend our own capital ship against the enemy. Nice one, Vanguard. Let's give him hell. That missile. The Empire has disabled our shields. Our power system is under attack. We've lost our power system. I'm gonna teach that fucker a lesson. We got him. Prepare to attack. Right, let's turn and burn. Engage the Star Destroyer at point blank range. We need to lower their shields first. And that's going to be a tricky, tricky thing to do. Lock on.
Our shields have been restored, that's good news for us. The Star Destroyer's shields are down, but we're being tractor beamed. I'm being chased. We need to keep up the pressure and get that Star Destroyer. Lots of shit blowing up around the Star Destroyer, that's exactly what I want to see. Got a couple of the turrets. Looks like we are defensive again. You can even see me there bl just blow. Actually, for the... For this next part, I, fe I feel I want to have an X-Wing. So, we can establish base superiority against the enemy. We got the Raider. Nice work. I think he's just hanging inside our hangar and camping there, but it uh, doesn't really matter because we now need to attack the enemy Star Destroyer. Looks like we might actually finish this in the next wing. Some might be disappointed at that, but to be honest, X-Wings is where I'm at. Got him. Well, let's switch back to the Y Wing. Congratulations, Vanguard. The Imperial forces have been defeated. Well, that is one fleet battle not likely to forget. The Imperial Star class Star Destroyer has been destroyed, and we did well. Looks like we were unstoppable with a full kill streak, but not much more than that. We got some decent score out of it too. We got a level up and we were third place on our team. But no rank since uh, someone left the team prematurely on the enemy side. 